Hi, Young Three Friends. I am so happy to see you again. Well, this week in Young Threes, we are talking about Earth Day. This week was Earth Day, and God gave us this beautiful Earth, and one of our jobs is to help take care of it. So we have to, if you see trash and your mom says, or dad says it's okay, you can pick up the trash. You can help take care of animals. That helps to take care of the earth. There's so many different things that you can do to be a good earth caretaker. But what we're gonna do today, our craft is going to be to make a earth, an earth, and I think these are things that you have at your house that you can do. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna turn you around this way, and I am starting with a paper plate. I have to get my camera just right here. All right, a paper plate. And the first thing I'm going to do, the earth has a whole bunch of water on it. So the first thing I'm going to do, you can use paint for this, you can use a marker for this, or you can use a crayon. So I'm gonna use a crayon and I am just going to, it doesn't have to be perfect, I am going to scribble a whole bunch of blue on here. It doesn't have to look super beautiful because I am making a bunch of water. I'm gonna cover our whole earth with water. If we were at school, we would be painting these with blue paint and it would be a wonderful mess. But I don't have my really good blue paint at my house. So just using my markers and my crayons. Now the next thing I'm going to do, Earth also has a lot of land. And if you look outside right now at your backyard, you will see a lot of green, right? So I'm going to use some green to make the the land and i have green tissue paper but you might have green construction paper or you even could do a marker or crayon on top of this too right all right so i'm gonna do kind of it doesn't have to be perfect I'm gonna make a bunch of land in the ocean. Maybe I'll make Australia down here. This is not exactly what the map looks like, but that's okay. Thank you. So, and then on top of all this land, so we have water and now we have land. We're also we love the earth and we want to take good care of it. So we're going to put a handprint in the middle of it. So I am going to have my son, Anthony, is here to help me out because my hand is too big. So my son, Anthony, here is going to put his hand in the middle of this. Just like this, you might get a little, you might get a little bit of um, blue on your hand. <laughs> So your mom or dad or another grown-up can help you with this part, right? They can do this part. They can probably even do the cutting out. So I have, here's Anthony's hand. <laughs> and I'm gonna, beautiful, right? I'm gonna cut it out kind of quickly. Cutting out fingers is a little tricky. And that might be something, that might be another way that the grown-ups can help you. If you wanted to, I bet you could even trace this hand on top of, on top of the landforms here that we have. So I'm cutting out my hand. And I'm going to glue this hand onto my earth. Your hands will even fit better than Anthony's because his is a big old 14 year old hand. So it's a little bit bigger than you guys. 
All right, so there we go. You have your earth with water and land and a hand to show that you are gonna give the earth a helping hand and help take care of it. And you're gonna draw a heart in the middle. It's another thing a grown-up can help you with and maybe you can color it in. What do you think? I think that came out pretty great, right? I hope you guys have fun with this. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.